is why we want to get all this. See, there's mud, but old gravel up under it, and we just buying bags and bags of this gravel over here from Lowe's, and it just didn't work that well. I mean, it took two bags just to fill in that one hole, and you see it's done eight out again with that standing water. And that's what this was down here, just muddy, soupy mess, and that, look how deep it is. So we're gonna go ahead and pull some of this over this way and just fill in all of what we can.
I'm really spreading gravel with the tractor, I realized that I would do a whole lot better backing up and pushing the gravel than I do pulling it because I'm just digging in ruts. So I, no I did notice that. So I'm gonna go through the rest of it with just a, maybe a rake or a lip the shovel over there and smooth out the high spots. And at least we got somewhere we can park now. It's closer to the house. And it ain't it's gonna be so muddy. And the more gravel we get, the less grass we gotta cut in the summertime, so that's pretty good for me. Heck yeah. So we'll go ahead and get this spread it out. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse of me learning how to do this. Up on that land, we're gonna have to do this too when we get some gravel put in. And it's good practice, good to get, get me out here and get motivated to what we can do up there. Tractor done a real good job. Them eight ends are tough. So I will catch all you guys on the next one. I will go ahead and start matting this down with the shovel and getting all the high spots out, and we will catch all you guys on the next one. Bye.